So I chase the bucks, your friends looking like you're changing up. Remember back when I would chase the bus, niggas is racing my short durations, running from their sins. When I was just a kid, running from my pen, people is talking to Tony Hawk, then I swear to ground. What's going on everyone? This is your boy Ash the Man and welcome to the video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Yashimin episode 5, Juka Samaru of the Red Bone. So before I go ahead and get started, just want to tell everybody, um, just been a couple of days, you know, I've been testing out a few things on the computer. So um, I just had to hold off on the um, review for this and another anime. So just get ready. <laughs> but let's talk about it. So in this episode, we got a chance to dive in a little bit more into this world and to this crazy journey that Yashimi has been playing out for us. And hopefully it can unravel some memories. So first, we did get a chance to see one of the uh, four perils, um, actually two of them, because um, apparently um, Jaka-san is the son of one of the four perils that end up biting the dust by Mariah later on in the episode. Now we did figure out that she didn't kill like him. She pretty much stumbled upon his body and end up, you know, turning it in until her bounty hunter guy for for silver. And that pretty much kind of like sums it up. Now Upon him being back in his past, you know, pa you know, in back in the Unfatal Era, um, they ended up going to um, Kohaku, who is the leader of the Demon Slayers, to kind of figure out what's the next course of action with this butterfly. The butterfly has been told to be in some type of mountains. Uh, Sessa not really not have her sight set on that. She pretty much, um, she pretty much told Toa that's her journey and what she wanted to do. However, she's looking to try to collect some bounties. So they pretty much their target and Mara's target was being Jukasumaru was you know both of their objective which which it, it makes sense you know they trying to build their relationships up between the three I mean because of how relative they are so this is definitely interesting to see more of that now as the episode goes on that's when we figure out that she didn't really kill him but then we found out some interesting things now whenever um. Mariah use this red makeup. She goes into um, the state where she retrieves all the memories of Mini Maru, and pretty much I would say she don't become full demon. She becomes like she becomes more like half because if you think about it, she's only quarter of a demon. So she becomes more so half, and you see her possess certain abilities that Inuyasha has, like Iron River Soul Stealer and Blaze of Blood. Now, of course, we did get to see her move from her um, from her sword, which is the Crimson Red Dragon Ray, which it still look pretty awesome, but it's not as strong as like a wind scar. So yeah, <laughs> let's let's go with that. Now, we also got a chance to know that apparently if they was to kill these four perils they basically will um bring out the you know dog demon of the west in which they will make them closer to getting to shishomu so honestly it's it's like what you know that spirit of the tree was saying eventually they're gonna have to to unravel you know certain things that's going on in this world and to being able to retrieve the memories to being able to uh continue on this vast journey that particular journey with them trying to slay the dog demon of the west and actually fight their father it, it's going to happen somewhere the line it is and this right here tells us uh, how the journey is going to be what some things you can expect now we did get to see a little cam um cameo on morocco but however we didn't really get to see his face we just know that Cessna stumbled upon a monk so honestly she knows some type of monk you know passing um you know rituals so it was definitely interesting. It was, it's interesting to see what things they are related to of the previous characters in Yasha and what things are told for them in their own journey. So honestly, it was a good episode. Um, you know, we got, again, we got some related things going on. We starting to see more of the journey and great character development that's going on all parts. I mean, not so much for Toei though. She pretty much kind of like had like a single step behind everybody today. So yeah. We'll see more. But other than that, thank you guys for definitely tuning in. If you can, go ahead and do me a favor. And anybody new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Um, anybody who has been with the channel, thank you so much for tuning in. Leave a comment below. And tell me guys what you think about the episode and the review. Other than that, Ash the Man is out. Peace.